I have come across some people who have been just very curious about the effects of um, capitalizing letters on reading. Do you uh, do you know something about this this direction? Not really, but would it then be all letters? Yeah, so for example, you have these different schools of thought that say, schools of thought, air quotes, uh, you have different camps and one camp says, you know, it's really good to capitalize all letters because then it means like, you know, they make these associations like then you're, then you're grown or if you use all s lowercase letters in, let's say, your company name or whatever, you are... You are small, you are young, you are, you know, those things. Right. Oh. Is there anything? I know, to I don't, I don't, but I think it's more of a marketing thing rather than a really language thing, yeah. right? Because it, it's really what will attract the attention. Right. I mean, is there any, is there, I just know I have a lot of problems if everything is in, is in, in capital, upper, yeah, in capital yeah, letters. Exactly. I have lots of problems reading. Yeah, exactly. I do think it's way more disruptive. Yeah. Uh, but that's, I don't know if there's research on that, but that's my experience and also what I've heard many people saying also when we are, you know, creating uh, whatever, whatever catchy names for our projects that you say like, oh, just, you know, just use some lowercase as well. Don't uh, use uppercase for everything because it looks like you're shouting and it's heavy for the read for the reader. So I, it's more of a marketing thing, but I think from a processing perspective, all uppercase is not very beneficial either. Yeah. And um, then they have been thinking of, okay, what if I make every word in, so let's say you have to write a sentence. Mm -hmm. What if I make every word the first letter capital? Yeah. Awesome. Or if I just have the regular way I normally write and only the first, and it's speaking of the English language, right. uh, only have the first uh, letter of the sentence capital unless I use names. And yeah, like it's, that. but that's also how it's naturally used, right? So I would say unless you're trying to convey something very, you're trying, there's a very good reason why you're deviating from that, then don't. Yeah. Right. So like these, these are marked cases as we call them, like you're, you're deviating from how it's usually done for a very good reason. But then if you're writing an entire sentence like that, you may be disrupting more than, than doing good. Right. I would guess. I would guess as well. Yeah. And I guess then it's also language specific because like many more words in German, yeah, for right. example, all the I, nouns are, are written with a more, capital. Yeah, yeah. A capital. Uh, and I guess if you don't write them in capital, yeah, then it's also a statement, right? So like that, that would be deviating from the default also for a reason. Yeah. So I would say just stick to the default in the language. Yeah. yeah. So it has nothing to do with some type of language processing model. Oh, no. no, no, I don't think so. You're drawing more attention to certain things by deviating from the default, right? Yeah, yeah. But then I would say you should use that in the cases when you want to draw particular attention. But if mm. you do, if you apply that across the board, you may doing more harm because now everything is receiving attention and you end up not emphasizing anything that you would want to in the first place. So, yeah, yeah, I guess you're right. It's, it's, uh, I think you can see it more like using a scalpel or a, or a chainsaw. <laughs> <laughs> like you, you can cut with both, but. Right. Yeah, there's more. Uh, but it's, it's just like you would decorate anything, right? And if you just put that same decoration on every single centimeter on your wall, it stops. It, it's no longer a decoration. That's it's, true. I think it's the same. Yeah, yeah. I, kind I of the same so. way of thinking. Yeah. Nice. Interesting. Thank you. And to all the UX people that hear this, uh, there you go. 